Hi everyone, today we are going to discuss quarterly numbers of HDFC Asset Management Company. HDFC AMC, which is the second largest asset management company in the country, reported stable Q2 FY19 performance with net profit increasing by almost 15% on a year-on-year -year basis. This was led by increase in asset under management as well as better asset mix. More importantly, there was a one-off item in the quarterly numbers. Uh, it, there was an expense of around 21 crores, uh, which was reported by the AMC. If we exclude the one-off item, the core operating profit growth was 20%, which was very healthy and much ahead of the street estimates. So let's look at the key highlights of HDFC AMC's Q2 performance. The first is the growth in uh, asset management company's AUM was led by equity assets. HDFC's AUM increased to Rs. 2,92,000 crore, which is a growth of 9% on a year-on-year -year basis. This was slightly better than the industry growth of 8% for the same period. As a result, HDFC AMC continues to maintain its market share of around 13%. While the growth in asset was more or less in line with the industry growth, we are most encouraged by the growth in equity assets, which was at 20% YOY. We are most enthused by the fact that equity assets now contribute around 52% of its total AUM and which is very important because equity assets earn higher fees as compared to the debt assets. For the industry as a whole also, the equity assets contribute only 44% of total assets and hence HDFC AMC stands out far better in terms of asset mix. And thanks to its superior and favorable asset mix, it is the most profitable AMC in the country. Apart from the asset mix, we would like to talk about the granularity of the asset book. We all know that HDFC AMC enjoys the highest number of individual accounts. The unique individual accounts were around 8.62 million as at September end, which grew by almost 24% on a year-on-year -year basis. As a result, 64% of its monthly average AUM was contributed by individual investors as against 53% for the industry as a whole. Now, why this is important? This is important because individual flows tend to be more sticky as compared to institutional flows. Also, individuals tend to favor equity investments where the asset management company earns a higher fees as compared to debt funds. The flows from monthly uh, SIPs, that is systematic investment plans, was also very healthy and it only increases the predictability and visibility for the AUM. The last thing that we would like to discuss and the most important thing is the impact of reducing the total expense ratio by SEBI. As we all know that in Q2, SEBI announced a reduction of total expense ratio. Total expense ratio or TER as it is known is nothing but the amount which is charged by mutual funds to the investors for managing their money. We are very encouraged and we are very uh, positive by the fact that the company announced that it is not impacted or impacted to a very minimal extent by the SEBI's move. And this should comfort the investors a lot. So what's the outlook on the stock? HDFC AMC being a leading player in the space will be the key beneficiary of the enduring growth in the mutual fund industry. It is very well positioned in the investment management space because of its strong and trusted brand recall, because of its experienced management, expanding distribution network, favorable asset mix with a leading position in the equity business. Having said that, we have seen that the stock has corrected almost 30% from its 52-week high and this was following SEBI's move of reducing total expense ratio. Even after the correction, the stock's valuation are rich as the stock is currently trading at 10% of its trailing AUM and 33 times its FI20 earnings. Now this does not come as a surprise to us because akin to most HDFC group companies, it commands a premium valuation, purely stemming from its brand and also the consistency in the performance. Given the strong return ratios of around 40% uh, ROE, we think that the premium valuations will be sustained and we see a lot of value in the stock at the current level. We also don't see uh, the significant negative impact of SEBI's move. In fact, the SEBI's move of reducing the charges will only increase the attractiveness of mutual fund in the long run and will benefit the well-entrenched players like HDFC. And hence, we would suggest investors to buy this stock in a staggered manner uh, as it is a long-term compounder. Thanks.